good on the power unit cycle, so let's concentrate on bringing tyres and brakes up to temperature. Conditions look stable at the moment. No rain currently expected. Alright, and here we are, at the start of the race. I'll be driving first lap and then switching into commentary mode. Okay, you need to give that position back. That was an illegal overtake.
virtual safety car is ending, maintain your pace until the green flag. VSC ending, wait for green. VSC ending, we're going green. Maintain positive delta until the green flags. Alright, at long last, we are actually in the race as we were supposed to be in Prax, is leading over RFX Rafa. RFX Rafa is now just ahead of Ian Prax, and Ian Prax is back ahead of RFX Rafa. Cam is following in third place, followed by Get Dunk, Raw Rope, Paradox, and Flex. Luke Prax is in P8, followed by Balzac, Red Baron, T Goldie, Nameless Nate, Jaeger Shot, Prestige, Cheo Patel, who has crashed out. Jay is crashed out of the race. That is an unfortunate situation and Kenny is going to be able to get past. Let's have a little look and see what has happened thus far. Yellow flags out. So Kenny has had to make a first lap pit stop, as has Brother John, as has Jail Patel, but Jail is, uh, yes, as we said, retired from the race, unfortunately. Let's see if everyone else is still able to race, though. It looks like we're still going full pace, hammer and tongs here. We've got Ian, Camborn, and Get Dunk together at the lead here, forming the top three. And Raro. Uh, running just behind, it looks like he's actually in P5, but we're having a little bit of oddness with the positions. That'll get sorted out in just a moment, I'm sure. And here's Paradox and the Williams. Followed by Flex, the tight little battle here for the uh, lower points positions. And thus far, everyone is still fairly close together here in the first couple of laps of this race. But we've got a little bit of a battle going on just ahead, as we have Luke Rax chasing down Flex. Might have a little bit of a move here. The caution flag remains out. And a safety car is deployed. A safety car is finally deployed as Jay retires from the session. And that's going to be an interesting situation. Who's going to catch the safety car first? It looks like it's going to be Kenny LaFlair. Kenny's here behind the uh, pit, behind the safety car, but he's going to get way past fairly soon, no doubt. And he's followed by Brother John. Both of these guys, uh, despite what it says on the map, are actually towards the back of the field after having to make an early pit stop. We've got Ian Brax. Uh, the session has ended again. This is, uh, this is a unique new brand of hell. Okay, uh, the race is still not finished, but it is said it is finished for the second time. I don't know if this is something on my end or if it is something on the game's end, uh, but it's a strange moment going on right now. Alright, this is looking more like it. We've got Ian Brax leaving RFX Rafa and Camborn behind the safety car that was brought up from Jail Patel's retirement.
Safety car is remaining up one more lap. Oh, it looks like Ian Brax is bluffing his way towards the uh, pit entrance, but he's not going to go for it. Oh, but there is one driver who is. It's going to be Get Dunked, who is pitting out of fourth position here to go in. What is he going to put on? He's got these soft tires on right now. Is he going to put on the hards and take them to the end? Or is it going to be another set of softs? Yes, it is. Another set of softs for Get Dunked. Also pitting is Kenny LaFleur, who has to serve a time penalty. That's going to drop him to the back, but he's going to be able to catch up again because we have yet another lap under the safety car here. So, uh, to refresh the positions, as uh, I haven't been able to follow this much at all, we have Ian Brax leading RFX Rafa and Camborn. Ralph Rose in 4th position, followed by Paradox and Flex. Luke Brax is in 7th. Balzac 8th, Red Baron in 9th. T Goldie 44 is in 10th position, followed by Nameless Nate Jägershot who may or may not be uh, present in the race. Let's see, I hope he's been able to get back in because that would be really frustrating for him if he was stuck up, but I'm not seeing any ghosting. I think that Jaeger might actually be back in the race. He's followed by Prestige, Get Dunk, Brother John, and Kenny Flair. Jail Patel and Feech Duma have both already retired and uh, I'm appearing in that race because uh, the reconnecting and disconnecting that kept on going on eventually decided that I was messing up so badly I needed to be in a Ferrari. Ayo. Kenny LaFleur is caught up with the back of this little pack, and with that, I think it's going to be Safety Car in at the end of this lap. And there we have it, Safety Car is indeed in. Alright drivers, get your tires heated up to the best of your abilities, and we're going to see what's going to happen as Ian Brax is going to lead this Safety Car restart just ahead of RFX Rafa. Just revving that engine in the low gears, getting ready, getting the tires heated up, slowing it down, and here we go. Ian Braggs is, uh, is very slowly, oh goodness, was that context with Rafa? Uh, the safety car is still out, or maybe no, it has restarted. I honestly cannot tell what's going on. Well, it looks like we're going through, and Flex has had to make a pit stop here. Ian Brax has successfully uh, made the restart, and he's followed by Rafa. Bit of a move, Camborn, trying to go around the outside of Rafa, but it's not going to happen. This time, Rafa holds on to second position. Just a little bit further behind, we're having some action here. Get dunked in Prestige. Uh, get dunked is through. Brother John and Kenny LaFleur into the wall and off the track. That is a painful situation to find oneself in. Only maybe it didn't happen because he's actually just back and perfectly fine. Who's to say? Uh, we live in a strange quantum universe. Ian Brax leads the race uh, ahead of Rafa and Camborn. And the lead three are starting to pull out a little bit of a gap as Paradox is the cork in the bottle holding off Luke Brax who is up past Balzac and Balzac is right on the back of Luke. Red Baron following them, and then we've got a small little trio. We've got Nameless Name followed by Goldie and Get Dunked, uh, and then a small gap back to Prestige. We ride on board now with Get Dunked as he looks at the battle for 8th position just ahead of him, as the leaders are beginning to spread out a little bit. Safety car is called in once again! And here we go, uh, it's pit stops for all of the leaders. No one is going out except uh, for, uh, that looks like that's Paradox, who is staying out on his seven lap old medium tires. He's followed by Nameless Nate, also on the mediums. T Goldie on slightly worn softs. Get Dunked, who's pitted fairly recently, and this is going to work out for him quite nicely. He's followed by Prestige. And I suppose that's going to be the retirement from Flex that brought out this safety car. Uh, the game's certainly very happy with throwing out the safety cars. We saw a lot of them in uh, previous races. So Kenny, uh, now in 7th place with some fresh mediums. And then we go to the former leader, RFX Rafa, Camborn, Ian Brax. Ian on the hard, so he's definitely going to be able to lean on these for the whole rest of the race. Balzac on softs, Red Baron on the hards, 
Jaeger shot on the softs, Luke Brax on the hards, and Bravo on the hards. 15 drivers left of the 18 official starters. This, I hope, will be a short safety car, as we're just getting the group together here right now. So all the drivers in the top seven are on slightly older tires. Um, all of them have made, uh, well, not all of them, I should say. Let's let's have a look and see the pit stops here. The top three have not made pit stops. Everyone else has made at least one pit stop. Ken is in seventh and has made two pit stops, so that's a rather interesting situation for him. Looks like the uh, safety car is going to be staying out one more lap. Now here's the question, is anyone going to stop for fresh tires here? Is there going to be anyone cutting into this? Yes it is, and that's going to be T Goldie, who's going to be getting off of these worn softs. Missed the jump earlier, that's definitely going to drop Goldie down to the very back of the field. Meanwhile, we've got an interesting situation where a bunch of the leaders are going to be caught right in the middle of this uh, pack. It's been a strange and hectic race here on the season opener of FRL Season 3. Oh, and that's unfortunate. A five second penalty for speeding in the pit lane. Not a moment when you really need to be speeding since everyone's going to be caught up before you even make your way to turn 3 here. But sometimes you just, uh, you know, you get the penalty and you just have to get your head down and know, hey, the race is yet long, there's 20 laps to go, there's a lot of things that can still shake out here. Paradox, just managing, managing, managing. Now the driver in the most interesting position here, I would have to say, is Get Dunked, who is right near the front on quite fresh soft tires, but those softs are not going to go to the end. And for that matter, those mediums on Paradox and Nameless Nate's cars are definitely not going to the end either. The safety car is in this lap, and Paradox is going to be leading us off. All of the original leaders are down in position 7th and below. Kenny LaFlair, who's had two pit stops already, actually finds himself in 6th place on almost the exact same strategy as race leader RFX Rafa. So in spite of a very difficult start to the race for him, he's actually finding himself in pretty good shape. Oh goodness. That might have just been a moment for Paradox, or that was just a moment of my internet being in the process of doing something unspeakable to itself. And here's the restart! Paradox leads him up. And we follow the gaps. Who's close? Oh goodness! Kenny, barely in control there. <laughs> but RFX Rafa is not right on his tail, so he's able to stay behind. Followed by Camborn and Ian Brax. A little bit of excitement here for Balzek. And a small gap forming behind him to Red Bear. Jaeger following in 12th. And is that a moment for T Goldie? No, it wasn't. It was just a moment of lag for me. This is certainly a uh, bizarre and borderline supernatural experience. The safety car is apparently back out again, for reasons which remain beyond my ability to comprehend. Maybe it's not out. I might just be seeing things, but Paradox is just charging ahead, and Nameless Nate has now fallen three and a half seconds behind, as he is leading Prestige and Kenny LaFlair who is up and looking to be in nice position here. He's pursued by Get Dunked. Oh goodness, something may have happened. 
what that was, I can't say for certain. I recall some of you guys were asking for me to do a drunk stream, and I can't necessarily promise that I was going to do that, but this is definitely a I am tripping out stream. Oh no, Prestige spins it! He's able to turn himself straight again, and he goes through. Jaeger shot is through on Prestige, and he drops down into 13th position, maybe even 14th, as Camborn is coming back on him now. Meanwhile, Paradox, building a nice little gap here over Kenny LaFlair. Camborn trying to make a move up on the inside of Prestige, and he's able to make it through. Is Prestige damaged here? Looks like his, uh, his end plates remain intact, and we're racing green here. Paradox leading the race, and he is pursued by Kenny LaFlair, who, after a very, very bizarre series of events, finds himself running all the way up in second position. Uh, Paradox is going to build a nice little gap here. Meanwhile, at the back, Red Baron is having to uh, pit. Uh, we've got some sort of damage here. Why don't we have a look? While well, he's out, and goodness, there's been a lot of safety cars, and if I were in Red Baron's shoes, I'd definitely be looking for that. I see a little spin further back. I think that that might be. Yes, it's Ian Brax. Oh, goodness. It's been a bad day. The Brax brothers were looking so incredibly strong in preseason, and they are still looking strong. But they're just having a very fraught and difficult race right now. Fastest lap again for Paradox, who's showing some very nice turns of pace here. Let's look ahead to P6. We've got Balzac right here. Rafa on Nameless Nate. A yellow flag again in Sector 3, so we've got a spin up from T Goldie. DRS is finally enabled. It's 12 laps into the race, and we're actually starting to get some consistent action here. Rafa chasing Nate, and Balzek tight behind Rafa. A small gap forming behind a brother Chun, but Luke Brax is doing everything he can to get around. Oh goodness, has a bit of a tight racing there between Luke Brax and brother Chun, but brother Chun is able to hold it off for the moment. But there's some very exciting stuff going on just up ahead, as we see RFX Rafa losing a position behind Nameless Nate and Balzek. Nate and Balzek fighting for fourth here. Paradox, meanwhile, starting to lose a bit of his lead as Kenny LaFleur is getting into his pace. Uh, Paradox might be starting to get a little bit of lost pace here, as we have Balzac going up the inside, Nameless Nate is passed on the inside. Can Balzac keep it through this coming corner? It looks like he can. Meanwhile, Luke Brex has been able to get through Brother John, coming into just the same location. And here we have Jaeger shot chasing down Prestige. He is pursued by Ian Brax, who wants to get through. He is right phasing through him into the wall. Um, yes. You know, quantum superpositions and whatnot. Red Ben, meanwhile, up to 14th as T Goldie has dropped down to 15th from his incident. Kenny LaFlair has now just gotten through on Paradox. Paradox losing a lot of pace here, and Kenny is able to now take the lead. Is Get Dunked going to be able to do the same here? Oh, and that's a time penalty for Luke Brax as he picks up multiple warnings here. And meanwhile, Raro has worked his way back up into 9th place. Uh, there's a tight little group here, starting to split. There's a gap that is formed between Brother John and Raro. Raro being the leader of the second group here. Looks like there's a little bit of off-track activity from Brother John. Um, and Raro is being chased by Camborn, who's not going to be wanting, wanting to be stuck behind this Aston Mark. Power down through Sector 2. And here we come. This is a difficult spot. There's not many passing opportunities here. But you could sometimes see a little bit of a dive into this corner up ahead here. Bravo goes wide, and there's not going to be an offer from Camborn to try and take it up the inside, but he might have an advantage here. Raro looked like he had a compromised line there, but Cam had a little bit of a kick of oversteer. And thus, Raro is able to keep the position. Meanwhile, just a little bit further ahead, we have RFX Rafa making his way through on Nameless Nate for fifth position. He's pursued by Luke Brax. Nate picks up a time penalty. Looks like he's been being a little bit creative with his interpretations of the borders of the track. Balzek chasing down behind Get Dunked and Paradox. Get Dunked has a run. He's side by side with Paradox, and he's through. Into turn one. Now is Balzek going to be able to do the same? Paradox was leading a few laps ago. Oh, it has a tight line for Balzek, but he's got the DRS open. Let's see if he can do something here. Goes up into the inside, very, very tight line, and he has to hit the brakes early. And with that, Paradox is able to continue defending. Meanwhile, this is allowing Rafa uh, to get through Luke Brax and Nameless Nate, having some side-by-side -side 
as it comes into Sector 2 here, but ultimately Luke is able to secure the position ahead of Nate. Kenny LaFlair building up on his lead right now, ahead of uh, Get Dunk. And we've got some side by side. Oh, goodness. Oh, that's trying to make the move happen here. And Paul's like, oh, goodness. Well, that looked very close to disastrous. And Paul's like, finds himself dropped down into 12th. Is he going to fall any further? Nope, there's a small gap back to Jaeger shot. So Balzak is going to drop to the very back of this group. But oh goodness, oh no! And his tires are so hot and he's he's feeling frustrated here. I know this situation. Balzak can be very consistent, but there's been a couple of moments where he has had that frustration when things just start cascading. But he just has to rebalance himself, recenter. This is still only the halfway point of the race. He's still only a short gap off of the leader. Yellow flag still out in Sector 3 as Kenny LaFlair's built a 3 second gap over his rival Get Dunked. RFX Rafa, we know he's pacey and he's chasey. He's chasing him down, uh, he's got probably the best tires of the top 3 at this point. Paradox is falling a little bit behind RFX Rafa. He is on some old medium tires here. Luke Brack's on the hards. He's going to be in an interesting position. He's not going to have the direct pace advantage on anyone here, but he's got a solid strategic position and he can potentially get himself up towards the front, and if we get a safety car, he might be able to snag a free pit stop here, if he may so need to do that. Pursuing him, there's a small gap to Nameless Nate, but Nameless Nate is leaving, leaving Brojo, Camborn, Prestige, and Ian Brax in a little group of five racers here. Eyes on Ian, since we know he's knocked down quite far out of his typical position here. And he's going to want to make some hay out of this. Further back, I see that there's a little bit of a battle going on here as Brower slips through on Jaeger's shot. And Balzac is just behind Jaeger. It looks like Jaeger may be ghosted, so it's possible that he's disconnected. Ooh, bit of a moment there for Balzac, and yes, looking at that, it does seem that Jaeger is in fact disconnected right now. Meanwhile, T. Goldie is behind, and he was being pursued by Red Baron, but Red Baron has lost it going through turn 3, and that's going to set him back a little bit further in his pursuit. Meanwhile, as this is all happening, Kenny LaFleur continuing to lead the race in his Red Bull. He's looked promising throughout the uh, throughout the start of the season, and he's been one of the breakout talents of Season 2. So it'll be very interesting to see what can happen in this, the first race. You can see a yellow flag out in Sector 2, I think that was from Red Baron, who is about to be lapped here on the 16th lap of this race. Oh, get dunked! Looked like he was having a moment there, but it was just a moment of lag on my side. RFX Rafa. Still in third place, and there's a little bit of a gap forming back here. The really close battle now is behind Camborn, who's pursued by Ian Brax. Had to check there for a moment, I wasn't sure if they were going slow because there was a safety gap in. Yeah, pace is looking a little bit weird right now on my end. But we're still getting a close fight here, and Prestige is holding right onto the back of Ian Brax, not going to want to let him run away on him here. There's still not much of a gap up to the leaders. Brother John has just retired! Well, I'm not entirely sure what happened to him there, but Brother John is out of the race. He seems to have retired from the pit. Something something wrong with the car or some sort of issue? I see a safety car on track. We have a safety car on track. T. Goldie's just cruising through because... Uh, and here we go. This is the opportunity. Kenny LaFlair is pitting. Get Dunked is getting rid of those old softs. Uh, Luke Brax is coming into pit. The one guy who is not pitting right now is RFX Rafa, who now takes the lead of the race. He's been dueling in the top three earlier, and now he finds himself back on top with this new safety car. Oh, that's frustrating. Nameless Nate picks up a penalty, speeding in the pit lane. Rafa is the first to catch the safety car. Is he going to be thinking, mm, geez, should I have pitted? That's the question. Uh, he's going to have some very, very old mediums if he wants to take these all the way to the end. But, then again, so is Canboard, and that's even more true for Prestige, who finds himself in third place. Kenny LaFlair, meanwhile, is pitted out of the lead, and he's only chopped three positions, and now he has much, much, much fresher tires. Tires, these mediums can go very, very comfortably to the end. There's going to be no concern whatsoever for Kenny. I like his position. Kenny has had such a bizarre race, but if he wins this, that would be a very, very impressive show. And, you know, uh, a good uh, a good nod to 
to never giving up. Because if you've got two pit stops uh, towards the very, very beginning of the race normally, that makes the race a bit of a write-off. But with the safety car, something to gather everyone back together again, that can really salvage your race. Bravo, meanwhile, is staying out on his hards. And behind him, he's got the Brax brothers. A little bit of a gap between the two of them, because Red Baron, of course, is down lap and he's between the two. Nameless Nate running P9, just ahead of Paradox. And chasing Paradox, we have Balzac, who is now on fresh mediums. He can take these to the end. I don't think anyone's going to want to try taking softs. Well, I spoke too soon. Nameless Nate and Red Baron both want to take softs to the end. Red Baron, I can see, because if he's going to end up being a lap down here, that's one fewer lap he needs to do on those short-lived tires. Meanwhile, the safety car is going to be up for another lap, because T. Goldie is way out on his lonesome here, waiting to catch up with the rest of the crew further up ahead. So right now, Red Baron's in an interesting spot behind uh, Luke and ahead of Ian Brax. So he's going to need to get out of the way fairly early on once this restart happens, one lap hence. But let's get our eyes on Kenny LaFleur here. It's the metaphorical catbird seat for him. So here we go, at the very start of lap 19 we're going to be going live again, and RFX Rafa is leading Cam Bourne Prestige, Kenny LaFleur get dunked, Robert, Luke Brax, Ian Brax, Nameless Saint, and Paradox all in the top 10, Balzac, Jaegershot, and T Goldie just behind, and Red Baron one lap down. We should be getting notification of the safety car coming back into the pits any moment now. And yeah, I'm just curious to see what happens with Kenny and Get Dunked here. Since they are going to be... Well, them and the two Brax brothers. So honestly, after all of the difficult things, we could have Kenny and the brothers Brax fighting for this, the victory in this season opener Australian Grand Prix, which has certainly delivered some surprises, some oddities, a little bit of internet nightmare. Here we go! RFX Rafa leading us away. There's a big gap that is formed between Kenny LaFleur and Rara. What is going on there? Alright, well, we're live! Kenny, make him move around the outside of Prestige. Can he do it? He's through. And it looks like it's clean. And a bit of an awkward restart means that there's a large gap formed already here, so the leaders are going to have a bit of a gap over Kenny LaFleur, and uh, Luke and Ian Brax being stuck behind Brawl Rose that will actually find themselves a couple of seconds knocked back. Although certainly not within their, uh, not outside of their ability to recover from. Meanwhile, Ian Brax right behind Get Dunked. And further back, we've got T Goldie getting through on the Eager Shot. And Red Baron, I guess he's just going to gradually be uh, letting the cars through here as they go on their green flag. Oh, hello! We've got some action here. Looks like Nameless Nate just lost a couple of positions there. In backs on Get Dunked! And he's through. And meanwhile, Luke on Rawro. We're going to see what he can do here. 
Armor has just a little bit more deploy. What can he use? Loot Brax, right in the exhaust. Is he going to duck out to the side? No, Robro successfully defends the position. Is Luke Rex going to come back on him, though? He's going to go wide. Oh, there's not much space there, but Robro leaves him. I think I saw Prestige off in the wall there. And with that, Luke Rex is through on Robro. And now we're going to see what Ian Brax can do. Is that a safety car again? We've got some slowing down going on here. T. Goldie has retired from the session. I thought I heard some noise, and that's yet another safety car. What are Rafa and Campbell going to do here? Well, this, they, they, I, I imagine they have to pit here. Is Rafa going to the finish? Is he going to try and finish on these? Well, both Rafa and Cam are. Kenny says, yeah, sure. Prestige, however, says 15 lap old mediums. No, thank you. Get me some softs. Let's see what we can do here. Unfortunately, since Prestige is right at the front of this group, it's going to drop him to the background position uh, 11 or 12 or so. Here we go, fresh sauce on for Prestige. And we're going to see what he can do with them. There's not going to be many laps left to uh, make some magic, but uh, let's see what he can pull out here. Red Baron remains a lap down here, which is going to be frustrating for him. But I imagine he's having a bit of a, a bit of fun being able to race the guys around him, even though they're offset by one lap. So everyone now gathered together here. Just uh, missing out on Nameless Nate, who is catching up. Are they going to take one more safety car lap here? I'm going to make a guess that the safety car is indeed going to stay out for one lap further. Just so that uh, Nameless Nate is able to catch up. Actually, I think that would be... Hang on, who is that? It is Nameless Nate, yes. So once again, uh, we were talking about the Brax Brothers and Kenny LaFlair being in very, very solid positions here. Third, fourth, and sixth with the best tires. But let's also not forget Get Dunked and Balzac, also in the same strategy. That takes us all the way back down to eighth position here. Safety car remains out, so we're going to have one more lap under the safety car before it comes in at the end of the 22nd lap. And here we go. Nate's caught up to the back. One more lap under the safety car. Thirteen drivers left out of the eighteen starters in this race. And again, my eyes are going to be on Kenny LaFleur, Luke Brax, and Ian Brax. We're going to see what they can do here. We're coming through Sector 2 now. 
all the drivers are going to be working to keep their tires warm here. Safety car in this lap. And we're getting down to a little sprint race, but we've got a couple of drivers who find themselves in interesting positions. Prestige, for instance, who's going to be in a nice spot to potentially pick up some points with those fresh softs going up against medium and hard tired competitors right ahead of him. Bravo, meanwhile, is in P5, but is going to be on some very old and very hard tires. 15 lap old hards, which, you know, the plan is to take them to the finish. But let's see what can come of this plan. Here we go, Rafa leading Cam and Kenny LaFleur. There we go. Power goes down. And Rafa takes it away. Alright. And we're through clean. And Ian Braxis is through on Rauro into the first corner. Get dunked now trying to do the same. He's going a little bit wide through the second straight here. But Rauro is going to see off the outside and get dunked decides better of it. There's going to be more opportunities here, but he's not going to want to let Ian Brax get away. Balzac gets through on the lapped Red Baron. Paradox doing the same here as he powers his way through. Prestige will be the next, and Nameless Nate just behind. And Jägershot uh, possibly ghosted, possibly not. Still in the race, still in the fight for points. Rafa is building a nice little lead here, and Kenny LaFleur is all over the back of Camborn. Remember, Kenny is in a very strong position, but perhaps even better is Luke Brax, who is all over the back of Kenny and Cam here. He's trying to get the best line he can, and let's have a look at this as we have Ian Brax, Luke Brax, and Kenny LaFleur all in a tight fight right behind Camborn. Oh, that's a little bit of a look, um, but that's not enough to secure the position, and Camborn holds it. Kenny chasing down in his Red Bull, seeing if he can get through on the cam. And here we go. Moment of truth coming up here. The drivers make their way down the back straight. And we're going to see if the, uh, if the Alpines can do anything here, or if Cam is able to hold on to his position. Kenny on cam here. Taking a look up the inside. And here we go. Is he going to take it? We look side by side. They're racing still side by side. Still having to leave racing space. And they do. Very nice. Very clean racing. And Kenny LaFleur has taken second position off of the back of Camborn. The leader, meanwhile, is still RFX Rafa. And just behind now, we're going to see if Luke Rax is able to make a move on Camborn here. Disregard the numbers, they are incorrect. But here we go, he's making a bold move. But Cam says, you're too far back. Don't you try to do that move on me. However, Luke Brax now going up the inside of the long gentle curve. And they're going to come up into a very, very dangerous spot. Oh, their wheels are interlocking. And ultimately, Cam has to back out of it. And Luke Brax forces his way through. Cleanly, but very firmly through. And now, here we have him. Those three threats I was talking about, Kenny LaFleur, Luke Brax, Ian Brax, they're all here. Now Ian just needs to get through in Camborn, and it's going to be a question of can they chase down Rafa, or has Rafa built up enough of a gap that these three are not going to be able to catch him. Further back, do we have any activity? Well, we've got Prestige chasing down uh, Paradox and Nameless Nate just behind him. But no, I think we need to keep our eyes on the leaders here. We need to see what Ian can do here. We need to see what Kenny can do. We need to see what Luke can do. Can Rafa keep those tires going all the way to 20 lap old mediums? And most critically, will he be able to do that while maintaining race leading pace? Cam doing a nice job of defending fourth position here, but Ian Brax really wants to take it back from him. And here we go, Robro. On those old hearts, he's also going to be uh, a potential target for overtakes here. But we're having some wide lines. Precision Paradox having a little bit of fight. Remember, Paradox was leading the race earlier. Now he's trying to defend onto points positions. 
Prestige going up the inside. Is it going to be a mirror of the move? Well, it's it's sort of a mirror of the move because the opposite thing happened. Paradox is able to hold on to it with someone poking in on the inside. Meanwhile, we go to. Oh no! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Please get me back. Looks like I'm reconnecting to Steam now. Hopefully I can get back in time to see the end of this race. And we come back to this. Uh, it's going to be an unpredictable finale here, but we've got Raro holding off a charge from Kenny LaFlair, Luke Brax, and Ian Brax all of whom look like they deserve to be on the podium today, but one of them is not going to be able to make it. Let's see what's happened in the time since I disconnected here. Kenny LaFleur uh, appears to be now leading the race as something has happened, and Rafa is now in third place fighting off Ian Prax, seeing if he can hold off any longer at all. So Kenny leading Luke Brax in close pursuit for second place here, and they're just building a big gap up to Rafa here. And now Ian is going to be trying to get through on Rafa, but we just need to watch this. This is a battle for the lead between two really quality drivers. It's the kind of thing you absolutely love to see in league racing. Two of the best drivers in the league going head-to-head, -head, hammer and tongs. Uh, for the last bit of the race here. They're on the exact same tires. They're on the exact same strategy. Let's see how they are for energy. Kenny is much better on energy than Luke Brax. So he's going to have that to defend himself with. We go on board with Luke, but Kenny is just able to pull away. He's deploying as he goes, and that's able to get him the gap that he needs. Meanwhile, Rafa is continuing to stubbornly hold onto his vision. Critically, let's have a look at the penalties here. 3 second penalty for Luke Brax, so that's going to make this very difficult for him if he wants to potentially get through on this. He's going to need to get past Kenny and get a 3 second gap built up. So in that sense, uh, the view to look at might be this battle uh, further down where we look at Ian Brax chasing down RFX Rafa. But Ian Brax, if I'm not mistaken, also has penalties. Why don't we have a look at that? Yeah, three seconds of penalties, so he's finding himself in a difficult spot here. And he is still being pursued. Camborn is in seventh. Balzac in eighth place. Uh, Prestige, with his uh, six lap old softs, is chasing down Balzac, and Balzac's going to have a tough time defending against this. Oh, was this Prestige has picked up? Yeah. And Camborn as well. Paradox is just DNF'd. I don't see where he is, but he is out of the race here. Kenny LaFleur leading, and he is pursued by Luke Brax. Oh, severe collision with Prestige. Well, hopefully no serious damage. Oh no! Oh, that's unfortunate. Prestige has lost his wing. But there's a big gap behind him. Prestige can still get a point out of this race. He can still get something.
There we go. Kenny LaFleur being chased by Luke Brax. Luke needs... Oh! Whoa. That was a moment. On my end, I'm sure it was a bit less of a moment on theirs. Cam in third, because we've had some losses of position as RFX Rafa has slipped down now. On 21 lap old mediums, there's not much more he can do. And Balzac has found himself up suddenly... into fourth position. I don't entirely understand how it happened. Also, goodness, I am I am being confused by what exactly I am seeing here. Since I know that Kenny LaFlair is leading, and why don't we go eyes on Kenny LaFlair and Luke Brax as we make our way towards the finish. Here we go, Kenny leading Brax, and there we go, it's a victory for Kenny LaFlair followed by Luke Brax. Is Camborn going to be able to make it in in third position here? Here he is! Now Balzek, fourth position, Luke Brax demoted to third. And I am disconnected again before the race is actually finished. Uh, well, this has been something. This has certainly been something, but I know we've got the podium correct here. It's been a race. It's been a real race, and considering how this one started, seeing Kenny LaFleur win, that was a well-earned win. That was very, very impressive. And it's a great result. Kenny LaFleur, victorious. Camborn, uh, I believe, is... What? Is he second? Well, let's see. I think it's showing... Uh, well, you know what? Why don't we? Why don't we just see exactly what the game is seeing here? Uh, we'll see exactly how accurate this is on my end. But we've got Kenny Lafleur, Luke Brax, and Camborn making up the podium. The rest of that data is thoroughly incorrect. Although I think the order is correct. But nonetheless, uh, thank you very much uh, for watching this video. It's been a little bit weird. Uh, but, you know, I'm a little bit weird. Uh, my internet's a little bit weird. Some days you just kind of have to roll with what you got. And uh, fastest lap there for Prestige. And uh, why don't we move it over into the main chat channel. Once again, thanks for tuning in. This has been FRL Season 3 Race 1.